and welcome to your market update for today friday the 6th of january hope you're all well mike smith senior analyst at go markets here to lead you around what's happening in markets today and of course give you a couple of charts of caught our eye also overnight in the us we saw a weaker session again after Stronger than expected jobs data really sort of made the market think, well, that gives the Federal Reserve the green light to be more aggressive with interest rate rises over the next 12 months. So that's what we saw. Surprisingly, in Asia, we are seeing no follow through on that. We're seeing US futures slightly positive and Asian indices generally ignoring that weaker US lead, trading mildly positively across the board. ASX is up around between 04 and 0.5% materials outperforming today. Lithium stocks looking particularly good. European futures are looking also relatively positive, pointing to a slightly higher open, and the VIX is trading near neutral. Big data tonight, of course, with the non-farm payrolls out, that may influence markets significantly. But at this stage, the US dollar index has stopped moving higher after it had a spike yesterday. It's near neutral in Asia, and we're seeing some weakness in the yen as well. With that US dollar strength, we saw a pullback in gold, although copper bounced significantly off its 375 support and looks in a good place. Oil paused around its 2022 lows. Bitcoin has moved very little. It is towards the middle of the current range and still below 17,000. All eyes, of course, on that non-farm payrolls US jobs data tonight. We do have some German retail sales and some Eurozone inflation data, which may move local currencies this afternoon and Canadian jobs likewise may have an influence on the Canadian dollar tonight. A couple of charts that have caught our eye this morning. We've already referenced lithium stocks and we actually like PLS. Uh, this has been on the back end of a fairly significant downturn over the last couple of months or so, contributed to not only by general recession fears but also the lockdowns in China. We're seeing some recovery in lithium stocks generally. Very strong session today. Started around about neutral, but has gained some traction as the days progressed. You can see it's moved back over. It's 200 MA. We're keeping an eye on $4. Possibly 4 or 8 would, would be the higher probability entry if we're interested in looking at this for a long trade. On the data in the FX front, I put it on a 4 hour chart for the Euro USD just to give you a bit more detail. So we have bounced off support level at around about this 105.12 and I'm moving back up to 105.42. If we just look at an hourly chart and bring this up a little bit, you can see the significance of this. If it happens, we'll get a technical double bottom, which could see the price move higher towards 105.80 in the first instance, and possibly even uh, test 106 uh, later in the session. Whether it does that or not may de be dependent, obviously, on that Eurozone CPI number that comes out soon. Remember, of course, also it is Friday, so we may get some repositioning going on across many asset classes. Trade safe and we'll see you again soon. Bye bye for now.